okay after first one b is committed to the experiment then move on to two b relaxation oscillator to create that um, experiment click on file click on new then you can anything and then changes in the previous experiment you can click yes or no then again again start with the same thing and is first place the op amp 5 pin op amp that's it and then place required component that is resistor and capacitor then uh, to rotate the capacitor you can use mouse right click button so uh, to rotate the any device you can use mouse right click button then place the capacitor okay now vcc and minus v vcc minus v now uh, finally the ground okay. after placing at the proper places we have to connect with the help of wire tools so you can uh, switch from arrow tool to wire tool so inverting you can connect to the capacitor one terminal that you can drag to connect to the next resistor see it series with that another point of the resistor you can connect the output of the op amp pin number 6 then output you can again connect to another resistor R1 sorry here R2 then to R3 then this to ground and capacitor one more terminal to ground then uh, VCC and VE then in our now inverting terminal current between R2 and R3 so the namings yeah, of register values may get changed, may get bottom will get R1, R2, upper one, top will get R3. So don't worry about the names of the register values only. And keep in mind that uh, what values are given to the register values are important. Okay, now you can you can reposition the reposition it. So capacitor you can move up down based on it. You can arrange it proper place. easily you can differentiate now next work is to change the values of our model of op amp capacitor resistor and vcc and v for that you double click on it each component uh, this is right now it's one microfarad change to 0.1 microfarad click ok then r you can change to r1 5.5 then R2 is 16, 16 kilo ohm. R3 is 10 kilo ohm. Plus VCC is plus 15. Then minus V is minus 15. You can all make sure that all our values are correct. Our remaining is off and now op amp you can double click on it and we'll get various list again you press on keyboard u you'll get ua741 then select then exit then after changing the all values of resistor capacitor power supply voltages and op amp now we'll save this one and we'll give the name as a 2b sim sim click ok now to get the now next work is to run so before run this experiment so we need to change some of the small changes we have to do in the analysis setup so for that go to simulation menu bar click on analysis setup it will pop up analysis setup window in that you uncheck the always set default for transient and op analysis uncheck this one and even uncheck the operating point and keep the transient or Fourier analysis setup keep as it is then click on the button of transient or Fourier analysis setup it will pop up one more window with the name as transient and Fourier analysis setup in that I have to change only stop time no to change any other thing only stop time I have to change it from 
by default it is 5 microsecond change is to 2 millisecond for to writing milli use small m and capital S then click ok then exit the analysis setup and click on save after changing the analysis setup values now go to simulation now work is to run next work is to run this one click on run to run now we have to observe output waveform and charging and discharging of waveform as capacitor is connected to pin number uh, inverting input of the op amp is pin number 2 and output is at pin number 6 this one output so when you click at the pin number uh, at inverting input of the op amp you will get the charging and discharging of the waveform similarly if you click at the output you will get the rectangular waveform to observe simultaneously waveform you press shift key on keyboard and click at the inverting input of the op-amp so you get the both the input and output waveform you can increase the size of the waveform window so you can to easily you can note down the readings now you have to take down the readings like UTP LTP which is char charging and discharge based on charging and discharging of capacitor then plus V set and minus V set which is output of your rectangular waveform then time of the rectangular waveform you can take either charging and discharging cycle of capacitor or on high and low output of the rectangular waveform so if you take the charging and discharging any any one cycle you can choose it now for example i'll st start from the leftmost leftmost point zero to at the capacitor get discharged that is LTP LTP values so point to the bottom is nearer to 0.75 millisecond uh, now this is next is 0.85 or 0.8 almost around up to 0.8 millisecond so that you can use the 0.8 millisecond as a time reciprocal time will get the frequency okay now to stop the simulation so these values are not down at an observation notebook so to stop simulation you can go to again back to simulation and click on the stop done with the experiment thank you